Hi, I'm Ernie with Miller's Motorsports, and today we're here to help answer the question, which extreme performance four-door Razor is the right choice at the right price? Let's start by taking a look at the all-new 2019 Razor XP4 Turbo S. This is the biggest and baddest Razor that you can get right now. It is aimed at the buyer that is looking for the latest and greatest in off-road performance and tech. Some of the key features with this carried over from the two-door version include Fox's live valve suspension, also known as Dynamics, upgraded suspension arms with a wider stance at 72 inches wide, and 15 inch wheels mated with 32 inch tires. Stickered north of 30 grand, the price and performance of the Turbo S may be too much to handle. That's where these two models come into play. You can still get extreme performance and four seats and save up to 10 grand. For 2019, the XP4 1000 is largely a carryover model, still features the same 1000cc ProStar twin engine putting out 110 horsepower. Still also features the proven Walker Evans suspension. What is new this year is a revised front end. Uh, we've got a lot of design language pulled from the Turbo S, so we've got a new hood, new front grille, and new lights with LED accents. On the inside, they've updated the cockpit to give you a little bit more leg room, especially for the driver, as well as revised uh, storage solutions and a new gauge cluster got a lot more storage actually there's storage up top you have a new lockable center uh, glove box your standard glove box here and a new netted uh, section on top if you're looking for more power than what the 1000 has to offer you can still go with the XP4 turbo this model again is a carryover from last year does get the revised front end and new cockpit and it's still putting out 168 horsepower through the turbo specific driveline if you like a lot of the premium features on the Turbo S, including the dynamic suspension and the ride command system, but you're looking to stay within the smaller package and reduce your overall cost, you have several special edition models of both the 41000 and the 4 Turbo that can offer those features and still save you thousands over the Turbo S. Another thing to consider is vehicle size. None of these XP4 seaters are very small. With their extended wheelbase, you get plenty of interior space, but that's something you have to contend with on the trail. The XP4 Turbo S is longer, wider, and taller than its smaller siblings. So that gives it an almost 15% larger footprint on the ground and almost 20% larger volume. That's something to consider when you're trying to squeeze it through tight terrain, as well as fit it in your trailer or in the garage. Now that we've taken a closer look at each of these new vehicles, let's consider some of the things that might actually help you make your decision when buying. With the new chassis that's on the XP Turbo S, you come, it comes with the new cage. Although it's a cool looking low profile cage and includes the roof, it does limit some of your options when it comes to windshields, rear panels, and upper doors. Mainly this model only has the option for a half windshield right now. We don't have anything for even a full windshield, let alone a rear panel and no upper doors, which are definitely nice in cold weather riding. Now with the XP1000 and the XP Turbo, these are still utilizing the old chassis, although they've got the revised front ends. With the old chassis, you have several options for roof, roof style, and type of material, your different windshields, lower doors, upper doors, so you can actually do a full cab on one of these, which you can't do on the XP Turbo S. When it comes to choosing a Razor 4-seater, Polaris gives you plenty of options. You've got the Turbo S that gives you the power and tech, but at a price. You've got the turbo that gives you the power and you've got the do-it-all unmatched value of the 1000. Ultimately the choice is yours on which Razor 4 seater best fits your needs and budget. But really at the end of the day you can't go wrong. This is Ernie with Miller's Motorsports and thank you for watching.